Today we're in the veggie garden and we're looking at a really cheap and easy way of growing your own vegetables from seed. It's the right time of the year. You can plant many vegetable seeds straight into the garden. But if it's not the right time of the year, you're going to want to start them off a little bit early, which means you need to be able to keep them warm for the seeds to germinate. And for some seeds that are difficult to germinate, they do need this warmth anyway. So without buying expensive equipment like this or this, what do you do? What we're using is a normal potting soil. You can go and buy seed raising mix, however, that is starting to get expensive. And instead of using trays like this to grow our veggie seedlings in, what we're using is two discarded plastic containers. These were mushroom containers. We've got one for the bottom and one from the top. First thing we need to do is to make some holes in the bottom of this one. Now you do need to make good sized holes like this because drainage is really important with the seeds. If the seeds remain too wet and soggy, then they tend to rot or perhaps get diseases. And that is the bottom of our little mini greenhouse or propagation tray. This part here is going to become the top. Now you could simply sit it on the top, but that's going to fall off fairly easily. What we're going to do is to make this a little bit shorter by cutting around this edge. And then, because it won't be quite as big as this one, it will sit neatly inside it. So there we have it. We've trimmed this off and that's going to sit fairly neatly inside the bottom. What we need to do now is to put in our potting mix and there's a little trick to that. Now remember that this potting mix is fairly coarse so it's not going to fall out through the holes in the bottom of this. All we're going to do is to fill this up to about three quarters of the way up the container. We'll spread that out evenly and that will do nicely. Now, here's the trick. Set all that down a bit so you've got a nice flat surface. Then, if you can, use some sort of a sieve and we're using this. Sift a layer of very fine soil over the top and then we're ready to plant our seeds. In this container, we're going to plant silver beet seeds and we're going to space them out fairly evenly. So we've got nine seeds in here. And the reason that we're spacing them out is that when the plants grow, it will be easier to lift one out and to put it into the garden or into a pot. So don't plant your seeds too close together. The next thing we need to do is to sift some more fine soil over the top of these seeds to cover them. But if you don't have a sieve, just lightly cover them with a thin layer of soil. Now, that's about it, except we need to water them in. And we want to water them in gently so that we don't wash the seeds away or shift them in the container. So here's our do-it-yourself watering can. It's simply a plastic bottle and as you can see, there's some holes poked in the top, which means that when the water comes out, it will be like a soft flow. So we water the seeds in well. This one's popped up a little bit. We'll just push him down under the surface. We take our lid and we sit it over the top. And that's it for a really cheap, easy and efficient way of growing your veggies from seed. This will work with most of the easy to grow veggies, silver beet, tomato seeds, capsicum seeds, all of that sort of thing. And if you need to take your plants indoors, you'll need a drip tray. Simply get an extra container, put something in it so that you're lifting the container that holds the plants up a little, which allows the water to drain. Sit the plant container on top, put your lid back on the top, and there you go, you won't have water running out the bottom of the container. 
if you are going to keep it inside because you live in a cold climate, then you'll need to place this near a window so that it gets a little bit of sun. Outdoors, again, you need to get a little bit of sun. Does this work? Well, here's one we prepared earlier. These are silver beet seeds that we put into this tray about a week ago. If you look carefully, you'll see that there's two plants actually coming up from some of the seeds. Silver beet does grow like that. When the seedlings get up to about twice this size, you can start to fertilise them using a half strength liquid seaweed fertiliser. Once they get to a good size and they've got a good root system, you can lift them out of here with anything you like. You could even use a spoon, making sure you take as much soil around the roots as possible and then you can plant them into a container or plant them into the ground. That's when you start to fertilise them. Different seeds need to be planted at different times of the year and different seeds need to be planted at different depths and you'll find all this information on the back of seed packets. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on all aspects of vegetable gardening and a whole range of other gardening topics as well.